We're at the San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium where I'm speaking with Dr. Martin Picard of Brussels, who's the president of the European Society for Medical Oncology, and also the principal investigator in the large randomized HERA study, where uh, more than 3,100 breast cancer patients have been randomized to two years or one year of trastuzumab in an effort to find out if two years is better than one. And Dr. Picard, what's the answer? The answer is no. There is absolutely no evidence that uh, two years provides any additional benefit. Um, in fact, back in uh, 2001, the reasoning behind this question was that for the first highly important targeted drug for the treatment of women with breast cancer, tamoxifen, there had been you know, evidence that giving a longer treatment period was better. So we had exactly the same reasoning. We were convinced that we were going to show a, an improvement in efficacy. And now that we have these very mature results, at eight years median follow-up, it's absolutely clear that there is no advantage. And that's an important message for clinical practice. And it's probably good news in terms of cost. Uh, does two years of trastuzumab double the cardiotoxicity? Well, we saw a slight increase in uh, asymptomatic uh, and mildly symptomatic cardiac events uh, with the two-year arm compared to the one-year arm, but we did not see any increase in the severely symptomatic cardiac events, the really important cardiac events. The rate was exactly the same, 0.5% in the two treatment arms. 0.5% and severe. that would be heart failure? And that would be essentially heart failure, yeah. yes. And you also presented uh, eight-year follow-up data on one year of trastuzumab versus no trastuzumab. What were some of the key findings there? Well, here we do have very good news because, in fact, um, with sequential intention to treat analysis of disease-free survival and overall survival, we saw uh, an apparent attenuation of the benefit of trastuzumab given for one year over time. And that generated some concern, particularly in 2008, where it looked as if we had lost the survival benefit. So the good news are that with the eight-year median follow-up, we show no further attenuation of benefit. And in contrast, we show a very robust decrease in the risk of a recurrence and in the risk of death. So the treatment is really working in spite of the selective crossover which occurred in the trial, which is a very high crossover rate. 50% of the women in the observation arm of HERA uh, started trastuzumab in the months following the release of the first results in 2005. So the eight-year follow-up results actually underestimate the true yeah. benefit substantially. You are perfectly correct. It's an underestimation of the true benefit and our statisticians are trying to come up with new methods to try to estimate what is the real benefit. I think it's still very striking that we see this important reduction in risk in spite of uh, substantial crossover. Well, that's very good news indeed.